There, I'm meteorologist Tom Kippen. As we look at our local three future cast here, we are looking at clouds and maybe some light rain across the higher terrain of Marquette County and maybe in the Keweenaw Peninsula. Otherwise, we might actually sneak in some sunshine for today, but that's short lived. Next storm system shows up. It's widespread rain as we go into Thursday along with gusty winds. And then as we go into Thursday night, we're not looking at much in the way of rain, maybe some lingering rain showers, but it could be cold enough out in the interior west where a snowflake or two may mix on in. Really wouldn't count on seeing it, but it's a possibility and welcome to October. We're going to have some gusty winds at times throughout the day on Wednesday and Wednesday night and also through the daytime on Thursday. And these are going to be out of the north northeast to at times east northeast lighter winds move in as we go on the Friday. Here's the look at your extended forecast. First for Marquette County, higher terrain could see some light rain. And then on Friday, all of Marquette, Marquette County sees rain and then back to the sunshine for Friday. For the eastern UP, we're looking at temperatures in the 50s, but 40s. That's it for Thursday. 50s on Friday, back to the sunshine. And then everybody across Upper Michigan gets into some weekend rain chances. Main window for rain is going to be later in the day, Saturday into Saturday night and for mainly Sunday morning temperatures. As you can see, October like and especially on Thursday, some spots or a good chunk of Upper Michigan may not make it out of the 40s and nighttime lows, especially inland will be in the 30s. There's your fishing on shop marine forecast. We are looking at small craft conditions on most Great Lakes waters across Upper Michigan waves four to six feet or three to six feet on Lake Superior and about one to three feet or two to four feet on Lake Michigan and the Bay of Green Bay. Thanks for logging on to our webpage, page upmatters.com.